Hi, everyone. I know I started a few seconds early today. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that my voice sounds so clear. Been so stuffy these past few weeks. Let me just set up my workspace while we're all kind of jumping on. Hi, everyone. I see we have someone else new in the group. Hi, Julie. Welcome to your first Maniology live stream. We're so happy you could join. Hi, Stella. Hi, Tina. Hi, Carol. And so many of our favorite friends. Hi, Mystic Kitten. Okay, I think, let me just get my workspace ready. Okay, stamper, got my scraper card. Hmm. Hello, hello. Should probably put some uh, oil on my nails. Honestly, I often forget this step. But why not give my nails some nourishment, right? While well, we just wait for everybody to jump on here. I think my nails are basically screaming at me to be like, do something with them, please. I get so nutty when there's growth. <laughs> Tina said, I love that oil. This, <clears throat> if you're not aware, our cuticle oil, look at that. It looks so nice, not dry. <clears throat> okay, let's just make a start while others jump on. Hey everyone, it's Tiana from the Maniology team here with our weekly live every Tuesday at 1.30 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. You can find us here on another nail stamping journey. Whether it's a tutorial, technique, or hack, we're here to discuss the details and we're so happy you could join us. Oh, there goes my scraper card. Wouldn't be alive if I wasn't dropping things already. And I can honestly tell you I'm living on the edge right now because I'm dressed in my regular clothes with no apron. So wish me luck on that front. But before we jump into today, if you're digging our live streams and enjoy being a part of the vibes here, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're all about creativity, stamping realness, and some awesome nail art. I also saw that somebody else was saying the random conversation. So um, yeah, me and Dev like to, like to keep it real and have some really fun conversations. So if you're into all of that, don't miss out. Subscribe and let's hang out every Tuesday. Drop your thoughts in the comments and we'd love to chat with you. So <clears throat> let's see. Today, I hope you guys are ready. I even seen some comments too. It's like, oh, I don't know if I'm like girly girly. And I will tell you, if you're just joining us, I know we have some new newbies in our community right now. This is a bit girly for me. I'll be completely honest. But if you are interested in this aesthetic, I didn't realize that my nails would kind of fit in the aesthetic, but it most certainly does. And if you missed my last live, um, not the one I did with Seb, but the previous one that was talking about our 2024 color of the year, which is peach fuzz, I was just trying to stay within that you know, kind of vibe. So I love to do something that's really, um, I guess you can say juxtaposition um, of cute. Then I also had to add in some like kind of darker elements and stuff because I just love to do that. Because otherwise you'd be seeing me in black nail polish. That is a go-to. I love black. I pretty much, you know, wear black all the time, but I really, really love these nails. They're super, super cute. And they fall into that coquette vibe so um i'm just kind of showing you for people who are not so girly girly frilly frilly and all that kind of stuff that there is a way to kind of take this cutesy coquette aesthetic look for your nails and kind of make it a little darker um, which is something i enjoy 
but today we're gonna keep it cutesy we're gonna keep it frilly we're gonna you know put back our hair in ribbons and put on the ivory lace because that's pretty much what this aesthetic really kind of fits ivory bust out your baby blues your baby pinks uh we're gonna be dealing with a lot of uh white cream colors uh and red too so if you hadn't heard of the coquette that's pretty much what it embodies um it's not croquet or you know which is the the sport it's not uh what what's that other deep fried potato dish it's called coquette <clears throat> so i have five simple easy nail art looks for you guys to dive into today that um definitely fit this aesthetic or this vibe and you guys all know me i am like the tiana ross of simple manicures so let's get into it right now yes nelly uh noel said the lana del rey vibe think of it as like cottage core meets ultra kawaii that's kind of what I'm calling it. But, you know, there's there's words to kind of use in the coquette. It's like flirty, frilly, lacy, girly. Um, all of those terms kind of embody this particular nail look. So, but for everyone who's saying you're not the girly, girly type, don't worry. Neither am I. And... I've actually been loving these nails, but as you can see, there's definitely growth. I'm going to have to go in and take care of that soon, but you know, busy, busy. Okay, so let's see. What is the first look that I want to go into? I have five nail plates here, and let's just take it from like the really, really simple plate. Okay, this first nail plate here. It is, let me go in a little closer, okay? Uh, M453, Ribbons and Bows, I believe is the name of this plate. And I tell you what, this plate could meet all your coquette manicures in one plate. So if you got this, you're, you're good to go. Um, I'm gonna use this really simple plate um, design here. We have some really, really cute bows. I also really like this bow too, if you have like longer nails and you just wanna put a really simple bow, you have a lot of um, ideas here for like reverse stamping if you wanted to. But again, we're keeping it easy and we're keeping it simple. Um, so that's what I'm going to do right now. The plates that I'm going to show you, all of them are available with the exception of one. But, you know, I honestly <clears throat> try to show you guys, you know, the plates that we have available. But honestly, some of you might actually have these plates and maybe you've never touched them too. So it's good to give love to other things too. You know, maybe some older, older plates. But this is actually a brand new one. We just came out with this plate not too long ago. And I'm going to use a blue base here. And if you guys are wondering, I have a whole bunch of um, colors here. I'm using Doll Dance. So I just put a base of that. And I'm gonna take a really beautiful kind of taupey brown color. This is Sequoia. And who doesn't love a simple full nail design where you can just pick up the design and transfer it onto the nail? Well, actually, I don't know if you guys can see that pickup. Yeah, I would want a, a better pickup. So we're gonna do that again. You can see where some of the bits are missing. And do that again. And can you believe it? So I was looking around for my pineapple cotton grabber 
And I had to bust out Old Faithful. Can you believe that? Yes, that's not a Maniology Cotton Claw. I had to bust out my Old Faithful today. I have no clue where my Maniology Cotton Claw is. So, and, you know, yes, I can go into the warehouse and just grab a new one. But I didn't want to. So, I'm just kicking it old school with what I already have. Don't judge me. I'll find one around here, I'm sure. Okay. Hi, Grandma Mimsy. Hi, everyone that just joined us. If you're just joining, we are learning about the coquette vibe. We are creating five easy, simple looks that you can create. There you go, beautiful pickup. To get this aesthetic. And there you go. Beautiful stamp. Make sure all those little little bits go down. Look how pretty that is. Okay. And you know what? Sorry, I reached for my pink one just because, I don't know, I want it to be like a part of the full aesthetic. So I was like, oh, this pink. I wish I had a pink um, like scraper card too. <laughs> Okay, so now what I'm going to do is kind of lightly dress this up. Hold on one second. We're going to be coming out with these at a later time. Okay, but they are these flat back gorgeous rhinestones in a mix of different um, sizes. For any of you who want to join our Maniology, or I'm sorry, our Manny by Me Club, this is the fun surprise gift that comes in this month. Um, and I'm gonna take a few of the really small rhinestones and I'm gonna dress up my bows. And don't forget, I see that there's a questionnaire or a, what do you call? Um, a poll, I'm sorry, a questionnaire, a poll going on right now in our live. Have you ever heard of Coquette Aesthetic? 21% of you say, yes, love it. 64% said, nope, never heard of it. 13% said, maybe curious to try. And 3% said, no, not really my style. Oh, now it's 2 3%. Kind of teetering on 2 to 3%. Um, <clears throat> I think, honestly, most of us have probably seen and or heard a, a, you know, a, a, a vibe or a style that kind of meets this kind of criteria, but I feel like, you know, in this modern time, aesthetic now is kind of like replaced trendy, the word trendy, and they don't trend as long. So, you know, we can come up with all different types of aesthetics now. So yeah, that's just a something I've, I've personally noticed. So you know, cottage core was really popular. Now we're going into something that's a little offshoot of that, but just slightly different. So now I'm going to take some of my sticky base coat and I'm just going to lightly put a dot on my bow here, right in the middle. And that's just so I can get my cute little rhinestones to kind of stick on. Now, if you're looking for a more permanent option, Tricky, tricky, tricky. If you're looking for a more permanent option to keep your studs or your stones on your manicured look, use nail glue. Nail glue can be found, I mean, if you have a local Walmart, a drugstore, anywhere that sells like nail art things, Sally's Beauty. I think I heard Dev say that she's heard really good things about Sally's glue. Um, that would be a more permanent option. Using a sticky base coat or a base coat or a, a top coat is really temporary. So it really, I think the, the idea of this really varies depending on how often you do your nails. But for the sake of this video, this is how I'm gonna do it. So look at that, really nice, simple, pretty. 
yeah, Dev just mentioned that she heard that the Sally's Beauty Glue is top tier. So definitely go check that out. Or if you guys have any comments uh, or have heard or tried of the Sally's Beauty Glue, let us know in the comments because I'm sure other people would be interested to know what your feedback is. I love how this turned out. That's why I keep looking at it. Not only because it's pretty pretty with the... I think they're glass rhinestones. If I remember correctly, that's what Dev said in our live. So, okay, I have another look. <clears throat> and if you've noticed, for many of our fans who know our plates by heart, which honestly, me and Dev, we're educators, but I don't know these plates by heart. Okay, I know maybe like M052 because we use it a lot. And I know it's a fave, but I don't know our plates by heart. Can you guys tell me what plate this is? Because that's going to give you a clue as to which design I'm going to do next. So I'll let you guys put in the comments what plate this uh, look came off of, and then we'll proceed. I want to see how many of you get... It's from Box of Shadows. Okay, Rochelle said it's Box of Shadows. Hmm. Oh, we got a, a recant there. Oh, I even got a plate number. Okay, we didn't only just say title, name of plate. We gave a plate number. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, I saw four come in with the very first answer of baddie love and ding 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 you guys are right so and alexis you got the plate right which is amazing because your girl does not remember plate names or numbers i just you know i kind of remember designs so yes this is m346 and this is the plate that I use. I love this plate. I created this manicure. So, so cute. There's so many concepts. I've actually used this plate a number of times for my manicures because it just kind of has a darker vibe. Um, if you guys are looking for like cherries, look at this, the cherry skulls, the bats, the ghosts. Just love it. So here, um, and look at the cute little design. That's what it looks like, if any of you are wondering. I have the cute little um, skeleton hand here holding the, the rose. I also put another like lace heart over here for any of you that were wondering. Yeah, but the design we're gonna use today is, I thought this was really cute because it's not only fire, which is, or the flames, which is really hot, no pun intended, has been a really hot, trendy, look but also because it has little hearts in them so who doesn't love that so we're going to pick up a portion of this design and the base that i have for that look is frozen now i love this color specifically for coquette because it embodies pearls pearls is like another um really popular design concept in this aesthetic. So what way to embody pearls than a pearly white here, which is frozen. Another fave color of for many of you. And I'm gonna go in <clears throat> with a little darker pink. And this is Sweet, which is this gorgeous kind of silvery glitter, micro glitter pink. And let's pick up, I'm just gonna kind of make it a little messy here. It doesn't even matter, but I like to do that just so I can kind of figure out where I want to place these flames. So I know the nail is not that long, but let's hurry up and isolate some of these bits so we can get this nail design on here okay I 
and there you go so if you're wondering why there's a gap underneath i'm gonna fix that and it's just because i wanted the flames to sit a little higher um higher <laughs> higher so you can either use a liner brush but actually i'm just gonna use the brush from the polish and i'm just gonna go in and lightly just brush that tip there with the polish color simple and there you go you just fix that okay and now i want to this design has some really cute hearts i'm actually actually you can see it on my nail right there so i'm going to pick up a few of the, like the little bits here so i can stamp them on like the littler designs And just go ahead and add those elements to your design here. Oh, sorry. Don't worry, we're gonna do that again and again. Cause this part, you can get as creative as you want to. So don't worry about making it like, oh, I have to make it like Tiana. You make it as creative as you want to. I love little bits on plates. I feel like it just adds a custom look to your manicure and i know Devin has mentioned this before we've mentioned it in our lives before you know you can make stamping as straightforward or as uh unique as you want it so there you go now say for instance if you have designs like that where say for instance polish is missing don't worry, you can go ahead and take a detail brush. And just for the sake of simplicity, I'll put a little bit of polish there. Grab a little bit of polish and color that in. It's not even really polishing it on, just dabbing it and filling that little portion there. Okay. And there's <clears throat> that design so i feel like if you are someone who likes a little darker elements this is really cute flames are very in style it's also very pink very cutesy and there is another concept for the coquette aesthetic okay so there's that plate see <sighs> like i said i have to give this plate love it was definitely a fave of mine unfortunately you know just because i like it doesn't mean that everybody else likes it um but m157 this was such a such cute plate i loved again the individual elements i believe this was part of our teenage dream and if any of you remember if you guys were hardcore hardcore fans and actually i would be really interested if you guys can let me know in the comments we created this plate in a much different style can you guys tell me what the design of the plate was i'd be so interested then i can really place you guys like how how long how long y'all been with us let me know in the comments what shape did this plate come in and yes this was an actual shape that wasn't rectangular so if if there's that that's a hint <clears throat> which actually now I'm having a, a connection. Square, hmm. Okay. It actually matches the coquette vibe. Dev, do you remember? Okay. Okay, I see some, some answers with a question mark. Okay, no, well, Dev, I was just, some, sometimes we don't remember, but <clears throat> yes, if you guys remember, or if you even have the plate, the set of plates came in a bow cut 
So it wasn't rectangular. Uh, Width-wise, it was the same, but it was actually cut in the form of a bow. So if any of you have those plates and they were pink, you're sitting on a gold mine right there because we also don't have them anymore. But yes, they were so insanely cute. Um, but we don't have these, this plate anymore. However, many of you might actually still be sitting on this plate in your organizer or in your shoe box. Bust it out because it's so cute. There's so many things you can do. And um, today, what better way than to use this bow design? Really reminds me of Hello Kitty a little. But yeah. So let's see. I am going to go straight, simple. We have a white base, which is just using our BAM white. <clears throat> Everyone's favorite. And um, you know what? Actually, I'm going to spice this up a little. I lied. I'm not going to go simple. Why would I do that? Um, so bring it back. Yes, Nelly. We, we'll talk with the bosses about bringing it back. I, I didn't want it to go away, but... You know, we got to change it up sometimes. I'm going to use Deep Dive, which is this gorgeous kind of pinky purple um, flaky. Just a, a lot of beautiful iridescence here. But I'm just going to put a really light layer. So I know Dove had mentioned that she wants to do like her favorite bases and stuff. Honestly, doing stuff like this is probably my favorite. Maybe we can do... I know a lot of you have like, yes, yes, please, please do that. And we'll, we'll definitely get to it. So I just put like a really thin layer of those flakies and you can see how sparkly and pretty it is. <clears throat> and I have another trick, I, but this design, I want the sparklies to be sparse. I don't want it to be very concentrated. We do have a trick for that, um, but I don't, I, I want it to be really spaced out like this. I don't want it to be very concentrated, okay? <laughs> so Grandma Mimsy said, T, you and Dev are not basic. So why would you do anything ordinary or simple, LOL? I would no, my personality is most definitely not basic, but um, no, we, I do simple things like it's pretty simple, but um, let's wait for this to kind of dry because the next part, actually, you know what? I think I'm going to, okay, hold on, be flexible with me because I think I'm going to have to change this up. Bye, Alexis. Take care. Um... Oh, you're welcome for the break from reality. I'm so glad that you could join us even for a little bit. We'll catch you later. Um, so I am going to use our 7-in-1 Potion Base Coat. This thing has so many benefits. Definitely go check it out on our website. It is this milky kind of ivory base um, to kind of liven up and take care of your base. But actually, I'm going to use this as like a, a softening trick, okay? So over this, I'm going to put this over as like a, to kind of diffuse the flakies. I want the flakies there, but I don't want them super bright. Okay, so it kind of gives it a really soft, milky white cast. And I, I got to let this dry. If I go in all heavy handed and swing in right now with the stamps, it's not going to work and it's going to look really ugly. So um, note to self and a really strong note to self because you guys all know how impatient Dev and I can be. We are going to happily put this on our stand and let that just chill out. Okay, while we just move on to a different design. And I want to move on to... I think something this design can definitely fit in cottage core, um, but I was just in love with it. So we'll, we'll come back to this design, I promise, okay? Don't worry, we're not done. Okay, so this next design is gonna be using another oldie, if you can imagine. I 
dug this up and this is M195. This is from our secret garden plate. I know that the, for a fact this plate started off as a circle. So if any of you have this plate, <clears throat> uh, you can now play with it. But I'm gonna actually take two concepts from this plate. It's gonna be this, like the ferns here. And I'm gonna take some elements from these really cute flowers. So let's do that. My base here, if you guys can probably guess, is coconut which is a gorgeous kind of yellowy ivory color. Um, let's see. Erica asked a question. It says, but will it hurt the gold flakes inside? We must be talking about the flakies and this technique that I'm talking about. Well, I think you can see in a comparison that for this plate right here I'm sorry, this concept, you know, what I just did, just kind of diffused the flakies, but you can see it doesn't hurt it. It just kind of softens it a bit. I feel like the white in the background doesn't come off as harsh. It does put like a little milky cast over it, but you can still see it. This still looks cute. It's just not so bam in your face. Hope that answers the question. Okay, so back to this. This is using coconut. And I am going to piece together a concept using these colors, which is Spanish moss, <clears throat> this beautiful green, and I have blossom, this really soft pink. Got a lot of action going on outside can hear all the delivery trucks and everything. This concept is gonna have a lot of isolating, so you do how you do it. Um, I'm going to be using the back of my scraper card just because it's the most, um, it's the simplest for me. And I'm gonna turn this into a full nail design. Again, I am going to customize this manicure look because why not? So if you guys can see, I'm just leaving that one fern leaf. Okay, stamp that. I'm gonna continue just grabbing different ferns, different sizes. I'm just using the back of my Scraper card. Actually, I think this one is nicer. I'm gonna use this. Doing this with studio lights sometimes is just not easy. Like the reflection is crazy. Okay. Again, so the concept here is just me making my own um, full nail design. Clean up the plate if you have to. <clears throat> and just grabbing more of these ferns. And what I'm doing here is leaving gaps in between because I'm going to fill it with pink flowers. I remember in the 90s we had like these cute little camisoles that had like little flowers and stuff on it that were really like soft pinky and peach so that's kind of what i'm doing right now okay i'm just kind of piecing together a concept kind of like that you know what and for some contrast i think i'm going to Go in that different direction to maybe uh, make the fur in a different direction. Okay. So let's go down like that. <clears throat> and I need another one for over here. So let me grab another piece.
hope wherever you guys are, you guys are staying warm. This weather has been so wonky. Um, I mean, you know, I know we haven't had like ice storms and snowstorms, like how many, probably many of you are experiencing all over, but oh my gosh, man, it's like rainy, cold, hot. It's make up your mind. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going in with these little cute flowers, really tiny flowers. That's where I'm going to use Blossom. And let's see. I know I kind of put a huge gob on, but I'm going to take most of it off. Yeah, well, we'll see. Yeah, I'm going to take most of that off. Why? Because... Just cause. Okay. So here. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Let's, we don't pop off like that. We just lay it down and there you go. Okay, I fixed it. Whew. <clears throat> That one piece didn't even go on, and I was like, no, don't do that. You know what, actually, what another color this would be really cute with is sweet peach, too. But we're using blossom. And I love just, like, those really soft hints. So I saw, of course, because why not? We always talk about food in this channel, right? As if we're a cooking station, like a cooking channel. Um, <clears throat> yes, I did eat lunch. And actually, I brought lunch today. I feel like I need the sound effect for a round of applause because I am so naughty about either bringing lunch, not eating lunch, uh, or just not bringing lunch, period. So I brought lunch today. I feel so proud of myself. And I had made some ahi fish nuggets with panko the other night. And um, so I'm gonna put these flowers like right in the little spaces that are missing. And I had some grilled veggies with zucchini, mushroom. I tried to do like a teppanyaki style with onions and stuff. And I had white rice. Super good, fun, easy to eat. Maybe not so easy to make <laughs> meal. But, you know, a win is a win. That's the, the saying of this year, right? I brought lunch, a win is a win. Saved money for one day. And I made breakfast at home. Okay, so what do you guys think? How do you think this is turning out? I think it's super, super cute. And we're just gonna continue with that it doesn't have to be the same size um flower you can go smaller if you want to it's all up to you be as creative as you want you know honestly like nail stamping it's just a template you can do it however you want i think adding like the small flowers just kind of gives it a different feel too <clears throat> and actually i just had a concept that just came in my head and say for instance i could grab like a smaller flower and do i don't know because it's just looking a little too patterny for me And it's 
like, uh, kind of want to do a double, f double flower right there. That looks kind of cute. I know, I'm so sorry if I get a little quiet it's because I'm trying to focus. Wow, this is turning out so cute. Okay. Bye, Tracy. Thank you for joining. Hopefully you can catch this at a later time. This goes right on our channel. If any of you have to leave and stuff, just know that we're live. You can go ahead and uh, rewind it. You can rewatch a portion if you want. Everything is live, so don't worry, this goes right to our channel, and you can pick up where you left off. Okay, and there you go. What do you guys think of this? Super cute. I love how this turned out. And actually, I don't mind that the leaves are a little distressed, you know? Just keep it like that. Okay, the last one. Is that Alex? Welcome. We're glad you're here. Thank you for joining us. So this, I just put like a really um, sheer, soft, um, stamped or like a stippled with a sponge base of blossom here because I just want to keep it soft and I am going to do a French and I'm going to do a French look using this plate which is M403 this plate has so many really cute usable concepts I love these clouds Hopefully I can do manicure later on this year because I would love to try those out. Um, but yeah, I just opened up this plate today, if you can believe it. And um, so I'm going to use this design here. <clears throat> and let's see. Let's go in with Cherry Bomb, which is like everybody's favorite red. And we're going to make the arch of our French. Now, when using this plate, keep your scraper card as flat as you can and scrape down. You don't want to be digging into the polish here. Okay, where did my stamper just go? Okay. And let's go ahead and stamp this French design here onto the nail tip. Okay. Now I'm going to do it again just because I want it to be a little more you. Okay. Uh, yeah, I probably should clean the plate. You know why? There's way too much polish sitting inside of the, the etched part. So yeah, you could sample it, but if you want a clean pickup, I would recommend uh, cleaning off your plate every single time. It's just good practice to do, especially when you have really, really um, heavily etched spaces like a design like this. Keep your scraper card flat and scrape across evenly. Pick up your design, and it's a beautiful pickup. No polish. Got, you know, carved out. Okay. 
let's see can i fix this one little area i'm gonna try okay much better so here i have my french shape okay <clears throat> And, oh, sorry, why did I, why did I move that? I'm going to actually take some hearts from this plate using white. Where is my white polish? And we're just going to put some cute little hearts. I'm using the tiniest heart in here. Okay, and let's see, let's I'm just going to repeat this making a pattern of little hearts. Like I said, I'm just going to make a pattern, keeping it extremely simple. And we have so many hearts, you know, different kind of heart concepts on many different plates. But it's so nice to just grab one plate and kind of figure out way different ways to use the plate. You know, some designs call for... Larger hearts, doodle hearts. Some call for more symmetrical hearts. <clears throat> it all depends on what your concept is. So I love having little small concepts on many different plates. What do you guys think about that? I love how this is turning out. And we're just going to repeat that design. I didn't mean to do that, but that's what I picked up and oh, oh well. Okay. So there you go. I have a really cute concept. Remember how I showed you to fix that? I'm just gonna put a little dot of white here. And let's color that in. And again, it's not really a painting. I'm just kind of dotting the areas that don't have paint. Because <clears throat> when you put polish back on the, like a stamp design, you can just reconstitute the polish and you kind of don't want to do that. This polish is dry already on the nail. Okay, and there you go. Simple. I tell you what, if you guys look on like Pinterest or whatever for coquette style or coquette nails, coquette aesthetic, you'll see that so many nails are just, they're really simple. They're not very complicated at all. 
okay? I also, before I move on, because the next one is gonna take a few, oh, no, not a few steps, but before I move on, I wanna talk because about this. I feel like there's so many questions. It's like, oh, um, about my plate. So I know many of you, you guys wanna keep your plate looking all brand new and stuff, but the fact remains, if you are an avid stamper or you just use your plate once, many, you know, your, your plate is gonna look like this. Now, I just want to mention that if your plate looks like this, aside from, you know, where I have polish and stuff, <clears throat> and you just clean it, okay, even if it's like that and there's still, like, polish in the crevices, oh, that's fine. You can leave your plate like this. It's going to work perfectly fine. Nothing is wrong with it. But we get a lot of questions about how do you make this shiny, okay? So this is my technique. This is just 100% acetone. That is what we recommend to clean your plate, okay? The problem with this, after you clean off majority of your polish and it's it's pretty much clear, is that if you keep going like this, you see how it just clouds up. And I feel like that's because there's polish on the cotton and everything. But if you wanna make it shiny, okay? And this is also why I don't do this, is because you kinda use a lot of cotton. But you see, on the clean side, okay, I went in or clean the other side. So you see I'm not using the same side that I used to clean this. I'm going back in with my uber wet cotton pad and it's taking off all the smear marks. And I try not to go in like the same direction or make like the same circles. And I just keep using a clear cleaner surface. Now, if your cotton pad looks like it's just all filled with paint, this is not gonna work. But look at that. From cloudy, I'm trying to see something. From looking like this, all cloudy and everything, to looking like this. So this pretty much, this plate looks like brand new again. So if any of you wanted to know how we get our plates looking all shiny, shiny, and pretty, pretty. This is how you do it. You guys wanna see that again? Yeah, let's do it on this plate. Because this is like at a moment right now, if any of you guys have seen that like viral TikTok, hey, you know, I do this. Well, I'm gonna tell you, I am a nail educator and I hate cleaning my plates after I am done, okay? So much of the time, the plates stay with the paint on them until we have to use them again. No hate, please don't come for me. That's just, I'm, I'm over it. <laughs> so, for me, honestly, too, with the, with the acetone, I'm very generous. I'm very, very generous with my acetone. Um, I like load it on. So I'm using the same cotton but it's because this backside is not very, um, what do you call, saturated in polish. But I am going to grab a clean cotton pad. Okay. And whoop. and there you go. All pretty, pretty. I know I'm sure many of you would be so thrilled to see our binder of plates and the way that they look. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely get tired of looking at them like that. And so I'll go through and like one lump sum clean them. But <clears throat> that's not an everyday occurrence, if I'm being completely honest. Cleanup is the devil. And usually it's a not today Satan kind of thing, you know, after um, doing nails. My nails are pretty. I took so much time to do it. Who wants to clean? Um, but I do agree, you know, it is really nice and cathartic to actually just sit there and clean your plates. Okay, so now we're coming back to this really cute bow design, remember? Um, M157. So if you guys remember, let me just scratch and like rewind that. I did a white base 
with um, a cute little flaky deep dive here, this beautiful iridescent um, special effects polish. And I went in with the seven in one base coat. So that's why it looks really soft, okay? Now I'm just gonna take this design in a pink. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead with Blossom. Ooh, Grandma Mimsy says she has a solution. <laughs> what, for my laziness or? <laughs> I wish there was a solution for that, especially when it comes to working out um, but yeah, let's pick up this really cute bow design. And we're just going to go ahead and stamp that on. And this design is so cute. So when you move with the light, you can see all the different flakies, but it's soft though. It's not like bam in your face. But look how cute and you're out. If you want to, you can easily color these bows in, but like even like this, it's so cute and so simple. And we love simple. I do at least. <clears throat> okay, so let's clean up so we can sample and look at all the work we did today for these beautiful coquette styles. And see let me straighten these out so they can get their time in the sun here look at that so that's so cute actually you know what i'm going to adjust this as well why because i'm being so complicated <laughs> Yeah, let's let's move that on the side. Okay, look at how cute these turned out. And you know what? I even love the ones that are not pink too. Like this is not a fully; these two are not fully pink designs. But I love like the charm and the daintiness of the bows here, and the contrast of the like baby blue with the taupe. And I love, you know, this kind of like fern with the little designs and the ivory. But these designs to me are just signature coquette. They're pink, they're ivory, they're white. They're super, super simple. So <clears throat> let me know which is your fave. One, two, three, four, or five. Stella says, I am in love with three. I have people saying three and five. Four. Okay. I think four is a great option for people who are maybe not into like the cutesy cutesy. You know, they, they don't want like bows everywhere, but this still has a cute element. So I wanted to kind of throw that in there because even for me personally, I don't necessarily gravitate to, you know, hearts per se but there is a cute way to do hearts and even like with my manicure I had to add some like darker elements I feel like the flames kind of help do that with but with the hearts it keeps it really nice and simple so one and five I see one and three so yeah again if you are totally into this well let's let's see what does the poll say 13% of you are still saying maybe curious to try. I wonder if you guys will feel differently now, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's live. This is pretty much going to wrap it up for us. I hope you guys really enjoyed today and you know that you find these five really cute nail looks to fit the coquette vibe. Again, super simple, super easy. And again, you know me, I love a super simple manicure that doesn't take very long. And so, um, yeah, Dev, anything else we need to go over? I think we're pretty good. 
Well, definitely write in the comments if you guys have anything that you guys would like to talk about. We do go back in the comments and kind of read over everything. Um, I know many of you were asking in our previous um, unboxing video why we didn't do it live. However, we did release a video on Tuesday. Um, it's because, you know, sometimes Dev and I, we have different schedules and stuff, and we know how much you guys love having us together. So we try to um, incorporate the two of worlds and do that for you guys. So hopefully, actually, we'll be able to do that a little more often. Um, so, you know, maybe in the future, we will still kind of keep to our live Tuesday schedule. But when we have unboxings, Maybe we'll do the pre-recorded stuff that might be a little easier for people to, you know, hear both of us in the same room, have some random conversation um, or off topic, random conversation and, you know, just have some fun nail time. I hope you guys had fun today. Please subscribe if you loved our co uh, this video, you love our content and we look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye.